Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Clown Vlog. I'm just talking today about college student debt and that you don't have to die with it, literally. So anyway, before we start, check below for the courses, the Classy Clown School. Uh, you guys grab stuff to build your brand, build your business from scratch, and just live the American dream. Uh, check those out. So anyway, back to my point. I, I am seeing all over Facebook where people are like, I have 80000 in student loan debt and I'm going to die with it. What? You gonna, you gonna die with it? You gonna die with $80,000 of school loan debt? You don't have to die with this student loan debt. You you could like pay it off. You could like work extra jobs. You could do other stuff. I mean, there's countless stories of people who, there's a great story on the guy, the, t uh, the college student who just graduated and in 10 months he paid off $23,000 in debt. And most people are going to be like, oh, bull crap, bull crap. No, dude, literally, all the dude did, he started a job in finance. I think his base pay was like 2000 And then he delivered pizzas on the weekend. So every month he made $3,000. And you're going to say, okay, I don't understand that. Right. He made $3,000, but he also lived with his parents, and they did not mind him staying for one year for free. One year for free. So in between driving for the pizzas and his job, he made about 3300 sometimes 3500 And he paid off. He pretty much just took one paycheck and just chunked it at the debt every single month for 10 months till he was free. Now, most people are not going to want to live with their parents for the next four years to pay off $80,000 in debt. I get that. I understand that. But we also can't be allowing people to go into $80,000 for school loan debt for uh, an art degree or for, for humanities or for English or to be a teacher. Because if you're going to be a teacher, you're going to make about $35,000 a year. Uh, it depends. If you're in a really small, lower income county, maybe twenty three, twenty five, twenty six thousand dollars a year. So listen, you don't have to die with that debt. That is a mindset, and that is a decision you have made. If you're telling me as you look me in my eyes, Erica, I'm gonna die with this debt. What? What the? Who the hell wants to die with that kind of debt? Like you ain't gotta do that. Like you can, you can, you know, figure out a plan. I mean, you might not like it. You know, you don't like Dave Ramsey. He's a little extreme. But we don't have to die with our debt. Like that's a narrative that you're believing, and it's not true. I mean, it, it might take some sacrifice. It might take living with roommates. It might take going home. It might take you working jobs you did not want to work. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I mean, so many people tell me, Erica, I don't want to work that job. That's not what my degree is in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry there's no Greek literature degree that you got and you got a Greek literature job. I don't know where you, some of these degrees go for. I really don't. I don't understand. So listen, it's unfortunate when we get you know degrees that we don't feel like we're using. I get that. That's upsetting. But what's ultimately worse is thinking you're going to die with some debt that you got when you were 20. You don't have to do that. You don't have to live that narrative. And you can find a way out. But you first have to make a decision and decide you're not going to die with that debt. I mean, that's that's just the number one step. Can we decide we're not going to die with that debt? You know, can we decide that? I mean, I don't know. So anyway, look, this is Erica, Classy Clown Blog. I need you guys to have a great day and a great week. Um, definitely check out uh, me on Twitter. It's Erica S. Williams on Twitter. Uh, you guys live well. Bye.